These are lined seahorses. Hippocampus erectus. And they're just one of more than 40 species of seahorse worldwide. Seahorses are truly unique fish. And yes, they are fish. In this video, we'll explore a few of their unusual features. The most famous seahorse oddity is that their parental roles are flipped, with males rather than the females carrying and giving birth to their young. And while that is unusual, there is so much more that makes seahorses truly stunning fish. They are tiny predators. In the wild, these lined seahorses stalk the eelgrass estuaries along the coast of North America. But because their mouths are small and toothless, their main food source are tiny crustaceans and plankton, including ichthyoplankton, or fish larvae and fish eggs. Seahorses hunt by sucking water, and their prey, in through their long snouts. We'll see that in action at the end of this video, during feeding time for these clumsy seahorses. While they are hunters, as you can see, seahorses are not strong swimmers. So chasing prey is out of the question. Instead, seahorses lay in wait, hoping to ambush their next meal, and hide from predators that might want a seahorse snack. Although these seahorses are clearly visible in the bright green eelgrass, in the wild, they use their unusual shape and coloration to disappear into their environment. But unique appendages called cirri help obscure their form further, camouflaging a seahorse's silhouette in the eelgrass. These particular seahorses have small cirri, but some species have large tendrils that completely transform their appearance making them look like algae, coral, or even a sea sponge. Incredible camouflage adaptations make the seahorse unique. But perhaps their most impressive feature is their prehensile tail. Used as a gripping limb, prehensile tails have evolved rather infrequently in the animal kingdom, and is most commonly found in mammals like many of the New World monkeys. In the underwater world, only seahorses and their close relatives, the pipefish, have prehensile tails. But these tails are even more impressive than they might first appear. The seahorse's tail is box-shaped rather than round, which allows it to make better surface contact with whatever it's gripping. The square cross-section also protects the tail from being crushed or pinched while the seahorse is being battered around by these strong ocean currents. It's hard for other fish to top the seahorse's unique adaptations. And there's a genetic reason for that. The seahorse's DNA has the highest rate of genetic mutations of any bony fish that has been studied. That means their genome has the opportunity to transform quickly, which probably explains why they have shapeshifted so far from the traditional fishy form. Now, we'll wrap up this video with seahorse feeding time at the Glenico Park Aquarium, where these fish live. You can learn more about this tank on the Glenico Park Aquarium YouTube channel, which I'll link at the end of this video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into a fascinating fish species, and you'd like more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below what species I should explore next. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my Patreon supporters for their continued contributions.